G'day guys, thank you for calling 1-800-PONE time. This is Jay speaking, bringing you some TDM on Drive-In Black Ops. This is just a dub video. I'm not playing live for a change, basically because I haven't even touched Call of Duty. I haven't even been on my PS3 for, like, weeks now, I think it is. At least a week or two. I just haven't had an interest to play, because... Black Ops 2 could not come any sooner, to be honest. This is just a complete random video. I... I think I go like 28 for 3 or something like that, like it's nothing too special, just a random game for me using the Famous, because that's just an easy gun to use. Whatever, I'm a noob at this game, don't really care. But um, I'm, I, I'm really just hanging out till Black Ops 2, I mean I've been playing, sit down bitch, I've been playing Guild Wars 2 like an absolute madman, I mean I've had this last week off work not to play, it had nothing to do with playing, I absolutely fucked my shoulder and ribs playing soccer. Um, second last game of the season too, and I get taken out a week before the grand final, which was actually today, and we won. We won our grand final, which is great, but I was unable to play, get drop shotted and hip fired because that's just how I roll. Um, so many people use Ghost in Black Ops, it's disgusting, isn't it? It truly is absolutely disgusting. But anyway, so we won a grand final today, that's good, but I got absolutely pumped last week. I jumped up for a header. Headed some dude, we headbutted each other, I came off second best, hit the ground with my head, my shoulder, fucked my shoulder, fucked my ribs, had to go get two x-rays, well, x-rays on two parts of my body, one on my shoulder, one on my ribs, and an ultrasound on my shoulder because I thought I was pregnant. So, it turns out I haven't broken any bones, just done ligament damage, and I've got to wait for it to heal, and... From what I'm told, it, it takes a lot longer for cartilage and ligament damage in your ribs to heal than it does for an actual broken bone, so... That's... Jesus. I didn't even realise that guy was going to join. Mute him. Sounds like I'm being live, but I'm not. Um, so yeah, that's going to be fun. I mean, I'm back to work tomorrow, which sucks balls, because I'm still in absolute agony. Like, it hurts to cough, sneeze, laugh, push, pull, twist. Yes, pull. It's a battle to pull, <laughs> pull at the moment. But um, anyway, guys, this is just a random video, because I haven't uploaded in a week. All I've been... What are you doing jumping out, you ghost whore? Um, oh, there was a dude to my right. How did I not see him? I just saw him rewatching. Isn't that funny that when you rewatch a game, it look at you. When you rewatch a gameplay and you notice things that you just should have seen when you were playing. But anyway, I've been playing Guild Wars 2. I have not played Call of Duty, and I'm gonna struggle to play Call of Duty till Black Ops 2 comes out. That's just how it is, guys. But believe me, once it does, I'm gonna be uploading like an absolute machine. Like I'm so excited for that game. Like I'm I'm watching this video now and I'm 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 missing Call of Duty, but I play it and I just get angry. It's just not enjoyable anymore. Modern Warfare 3 is terrible. I was talking to Yoss or Kinetic Energy actually this morning. I gave him a call and um, apparently there was 500,000 people playing Black Ops. Now tell me that doesn't show that Infinity Ward... Get knifed. Tell me that doesn't show that Infinity Ward fucked up Modern Warfare 3 and now we're playing a better game. I mean, people have... Oh, I wish I'd have got that. I remember that moment actually thinking about it. Now I wish I got that. But, um, 500,000 people online, I mean, how many does that leave Modern Warfare 3 with? Maybe 200,000? And it's because they fucked that game. I mean, it's just so, so wrong. But, I mean, I think that Treyarch are going to learn from their mistakes with Black Ops. There wasn't many. I think it was a much better game. But there was still things they could have fixed. And definitely, definitely learned. Oh, look at that. That is how you spray and pray. <laughs> but, um... They're definitely going to learn from Modern Warfare 3. If, if, if Treyarch hasn't improved from that, that's going to be just an absolute... It's going to be appalling. But I think I think they've done it right. I'm, I'm really liking the Pick 10 system. I think that is an absolutely cool concept. I mean, it's going to stop people being so overpowered. Like, you can choose what you want to a certain extent, but at the same time, you can't just go nuts and put on two weapons and expect to go absolutely mental. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, 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 triple! Dude, where was the triple? Fucking letdown. I'm terrible at this game. But, um... Just hang in there, guys. I mean, the channel's still growing. I'm still getting subscribers by the day. My views are still going up. I have not been uploading much, which I do apologize for. Because it's just... I mean, most of you guys want to see Call of Duty. And Man vs. Skyrim, I only do once every so often. Otherwise, it'd just grow stale. You know it would. I mean, even some of the episodes now I'm not as happy with. But, I mean... I, I try releasing a new episode every time the most recent one gets to a thousand views. And, I mean, there's plenty of stuff coming. I'm... I've got Assassin's Creed 3 coming out, which I want to be doing a series for. I've got some great ideas for that. And um, I want your input on one thing. I've done Man vs. Skyrim, I and mean, I'm, I'm going to keep doing Man vs. Skyrim. I have a lot of fun doing it. But I don't know if you guys have played Red Dead Redemption. If you'd like a similar sort of series, Man vs. Red Dead, I don't know what I'd call it, but if you'd like that documentary skit-style sort of video for Red Dead Redemption, or even any other games, you can just 
A few people suggested DayZ. If you want to see more DayZ, just let me know, guys. I mean, basically, I'm not going to be playing Call of Duty right now. I just don't enjoy it enough to play it. I can't sit through it, get picked off by ghost noobs, and just... just It just shits me. I'm not going to play something I'm not enjoying. So, pray for Black Ops 2 that it is an amazing game. I have all hope that it is, and... That's pretty much it. Just leave feedback on the videos that I do upload, guys. I mean, that's my way to know what you want to see, what you like. I mean, that is the best thing that you can do for my channel. Leave a comment. I mean, I might get 100 views and 5 comments. I mean, I'd prefer it if there was 50 comments. I do go through and read the comments. Yeah, I don't reply to all of them. I don't reply to nearly all of them. But I still go through and read nearly every comment. And the feedback that you guys leave me actually does help me quite a lot. Get panic knifed. Um... So we get panic knifed. Oh, get thrown knifed. Oh, tomahawks miss. Hip fire. Oh, he's still not dead. <laughs> that is a quad attempt at killing someone and failing. But um, that's it for the video, guys. Just a quick one. I, I just thought I'd put a video up for you guys because I've been slack as. I know it is. 26 for 3, 8.67 ratio. I think that's a subscriber. Pretty sure Wes Bro's a subscriber. The number one on YouTube, he's the best guy. <laughs> <laughs> number one on YouTube, he says. Oh, that's nice, Wes, bro. Thanks, bro. You get a shout out for being a loyal okay. subscriber. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think. Hit it up with a like. Leave feedback. Please leave heaps of feedback, and I will talk to you guys later. Catch ya. I didn't say he was the best at COD. I, I just said he's the most popular on YouTube. Oh, see, he's even my.